okay? That's a different subject. But here's the test in the animal world. They took a grouse or some kind of bird, and um, it was a walking, you know, they had a, a closed off area, and it was a male one, and they threw a bunch of females around to see how the females would react to the male um, bird. And after a while, they would go check him out, and he didn't do very well. Then what they did is they made some female birds, fake ones, and they put them all around him in his environment. And they gave the female birds the signal that they're going to make, like tails up and shit. Suddenly, immediately, all the real female birds started coming and mate with them. And this has been proven over and over and over. In fact, there's been tests of humans that if I showed you a picture of a man just by himself smiling, or if I showed you a picture of a man smiling with two girls next to him, you trust the one with two girls next to him, way more than the one just smiling by himself. Okay? Also, if a man walks into a club and he's dark and mysterious and he's there and he's walking through, you'll notice him, but he might be a little creepy. But if he walks into a club dark and mysterious and there's two girls in his arms, you need to know who the fuck that guy is now. See, anytime a man has women around him that are beautiful, that are giving him the attention that they want him, you find him attractive. Now remember, you originally got with your man, whoever that is, because you were attracted to him. And you wonder what happened to the passion? Well, you killed him. And so did he, by the way. Okay? Everybody had the wrong rules. We, we end up attracting each other based on our nature, on our natural instincts. Then we kill it. <laughs> and we spend the rest of our time killing those instincts. And then we wonder what the fuck happened in our lives. No one ever came and said, listen, honey, if your man has other women around, you're going to like that better. And if you can't control him 24 hours a fucking day, you're going to like that better. You're going to know. You know that jealousy that you feel? That's nature telling you that you want to keep him. Because the worst thing a woman can feel is nothing for you. <laughs> just so you know that shit, right? You ever had that ex or whatever, or let's just be friends kind of guy, and he's like, well, I'm going to be like, okay, well, go ahead. <laughs> and if he tries to get a rise out of you again, you're like, go ahead. But I thought you cared. I do, just not the way you think I care. You know what I mean? Just get the fuck out of here, dude. You're feeling nothing for me. The two biggest buttons, the first one, which overrides all of them, is called pre-selection. Now let's go back into the whole tribal days, okay? Tribal days, we were all a tribe, we got all that sitting around, right? And a new guy walks into the tribe, and he's got a good physique, so everyone notices him, because that's another indicator, right? Good physique, okay. Then as he sits down, the girls in the tribe go like this to him. Ugh. And you notice you like the buttons. That doesn't make sense. And then you see him try to go talk to one of them, and the girl's like, oh. <laughs> That's all you saw of the new guy who's good looking. He tries to come talk to you, you're gonna be like, Ugh. You don't even know why. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but you're like, get away from here, right? <laughs> We're back in the tribal days, another guy walks in. Physically, he's not that intimidating or big or whatever, right? But he walks in, and you see the girls in the tribe suddenly straight up. He goes, Ooga, they go, <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? He go, who is this guy, right? And you see again, he goes and sits down, and a girl comes and sits next to him, and he's going like this and touching him. And you now start to really notice the guy. She leaves, he gets up and comes around you and says, hi, and you're going to be like, hi. See the difference now? One was a good looking guy, but the reaction you saw from the females was, so, you were like, no. And you know, you know nothing about him. The other one was some average looking guy, but the females were whatever. Oh, you're like, oh, okay, who are you? Okay? Why? Let's figure out why pre selection is so important. Because your DNA has decided that you don't have time to sit around and talk to 50 fucking men and find out who's worth it or who's not. So, if other women before you have taken the time to get to know who he is and gone through it and are emotionally reacting well to him, then you could bypass that whole thing and go, he must be worth it. And that's why you give a shit if other women don't like your man. It triggers the opposite reaction. But if they like him, especially prior to you meeting him, that's why you need a new guy. Look, part of my success in my business, you know I have beautiful women around me that will do anything for me. It's obvious. And people are like, how? Look. This is the first time you're getting my knowledge, some of you. So now you get to see. This is not even, t this is not even the tip of the iceberg. This is not even on the iceberg yet. <laughs> you guys are looking at it from fucking binoculars. But the fact that 
the beautiful women around me give me so much compliance, do what I tell them, and are, that makes me more valid to everybody. Because if I look this way, said the same shit I said with no women around me, I'd be a weird motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that I can do empowering women and people show up and they're all around the world and want to listen, because I've proven that other women that have known me longer, the girls that have been to these three, how long have you known me? How old are you now? 36. So that would be 19 years. Yeah. So people prior to you have come around and been like, yeah, my fuck is cool. So you don't have to go through all those steps. Anybody new who's here right now is a by virtue of women being here, laughing at what I say and all that, goes, okay, he's cool. You get the difference? This is that number one button that a female looks for. Pre-selection. You go into a club, you only want to talk to the guy that other girls are talking to. It doesn't matter what he looks like and all that, he's safer. Okay, got that? That's two buttons, but you need to know this. Why? Because if you're about to get into a relationship or talking to a guy, like the younger girls by Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Do you have a key? Okay, I'll have you come If you're about to get into a relationship with a guy, you should at least know, at least know what you will respond to. Now check this out. I am all for all for my girls having 100% control over their men. And I don't mean 98, I don't mean 99, I mean 100%, he better be like a fucking puppy around you. Okay? I, hey, it is what it is, okay? Because I've seen how fucking stupid men can be, and how a man can destroy a relationship with a woman, and that woman was going somewhere in life and ends up being nothing. Because now she feels like she's nothing to some fucking piece of shit. So if a woman's in my life, I'm going to teach her everything I can so that he is completely under her control. And I want that shit. I want that shit. Okay? It's like being in a car and holding the wheel and saying, I know how to drive. Or being in a car and going, fuck it, let's see where it goes. So it is going to crash. Okay? <laughs> but they also know the things that I'm saying. So you can then, having the truth, gauge where you are. Okay. You don't overreact to stupid shit because the advice is the opposite. Oh girl, was he talking to another guy? Was he talking to another girl? I would, I would have told him to fucking leave. Okay, bitch, let's sit down and go over your fucking background of, of relationships. What the fuck are you giving advice for? Who are you? Right? Just because you have a mouth, you can talk? Shut up. Okay, you gotta prove it. You like that? <laughs> I like this guy. Okay, give you two points. All right, now I'm gonna give you a little background and then uh, we'll do a question and answer, okay? Now let's understand this. All of the emo of man, this, this, is the, this is the controversial shit, right? I came into the game and I started, I speak my truth, man. I, if I observe something, it is, that's it, fuck it. I don't need to be acceptable, not acceptable. I believe in truth, I just go for it. It's always been the thing saving my life, okay? So, here's one of the things. When I started to understand the idea of love as humans talk about it, I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? See, their body kicks in. The switches are triggered. I just gave you two switches, okay? I gave you two switches. What if I gave you five? Five strong switches. If I described a man who walked up with good posture, a smile on his face, as he walked up, women ran to him like, oh my god, how are you? Smiling, kissing on his cheek, and he gave him a little bit of attention, hugged them, and as he was walking, this little girl was running the street, car was about to come, he ran and grabbed her, put her down, saved her, came back, bought her a little fucking ice cream, kept going, then he had a little puppy come up to him, and he was like, <laughs> he started treating the fucking puppy, hold on. And then he's going, and then he looked over there, he was like, you know what, I want to start a business over here. And he just walked into the business and said, I would like to buy this business. He's like, is he really going to do it? And he whipped out his money and he was like, here's my down payment. Here's my black, whatever, card, express card, 150000 put it on it. And he walks out and goes, this is my business. You're like, well, is he a god? <laughs> like, yes, who are you? <laughs> and the emotions you would feel would be telling you, your body, forget who you are, your body would be like, make with him, make with him. <laughs> Have his fucking baby. <laughs> yes, let's go back to the cell. You just found the highest value cell in a group of cells. And the DNA is very selfish. The DNA says, combine with that guy. Do whatever you can, combine with that guy right now. Now I'm going to give you a statistic that's going to blow your mind. Women 
at a rate, conceive a child a lot more often during being raped than with their husbands. Look it up. Conception rate of being uh, raped is very high. Doesn't make sense until you understand the science behind it. The science behind it is that DNA is very selfish. It doesn't give a shit about you. It's using this whole machine to push forward its DNA. The DNA is the closest thing to physical immortality there is, by the way. Because my DNA, mom and dad combined. There's mom and dad. And you take it back, and there's still a part of way back in generation in me and you. So it's almost immortal. It just combines itself, combines itself, combines, and it keeps going to the new generation. That's why you feel like that about your child. You're a part of me. Like, literally, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the reason that the conception is higher in rape is that DNA feels that the man has the ability to go out there and against all odds, against being thrown in jail, all that, to force himself. And on a cellular level, that's stronger normally than her husband, who she can push around. Honey, you're sitting on the couch tonight. <laughs> That's today's world, right? You see that shit on TV. The guy comes home. Well, you're on the couch, okay. I guess I need to ride home today. Kind of fucking shit the men go through, right? So on a DNA level, the moment that the rape is happening, the DNA says, combine with that guy. And she doesn't get it. Because the DNA sees someone who's dominant, okay? Which is... One of the highest buttons for a female is a dominant man. That's an attraction point. Right? The opposite of that would be the, the, your boyfriend, your husband, the, the, the guy you want to hook up with, is not dominant. He's paid up. He's the guy in the group where everybody, all his friends make fun of him. You want to be with that guy, right? You're with your boyfriend, and he's in a group, and he's like, hey, everybody, let's go have pizza. They're like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> and he looks at you and he goes, damn, man, it's there. They've been doing this my entire life. I love these guys. <laughs> and you're like, I want to throw up now, dude. You want dominance. Dominance. He's in this room with your friends, and, he's, and everyone's like, let's go eat pizza. He goes, fuck pizza, it's gross. Let's get veggies. And everyone looks at each other and says, veggies it is. And you're like, yeah, dude. That's my man. 